Real estate in Vancouver has gone through the roof in the last 10 years. Developers are buying up property as fast as possible to build high rises. Almost every corner has a crane on it in this neighborhood. We've taken a different route on this small property. In 2009, I received an inheritance that allowed me to buy this tiny property in Vancouver's trendy Mount Pleasant neighborhood. I didn't want to just speculate and build another condo. I wanted to invest in the community. Unlike big developers who create Insta gardens as opportunities to save tax dollars during the project planning phase, I wanted to get my own hands dirty, grow some food, and create community connections. So with the help of neighbors, we built this garden for plants and people with shelter for the rain, shade for the sun, a shed for tools, and cozy spots to sit and just read a book. Hi, I'm Diane Lafroy, and this is the Co-Food Collaborative Garden located on the unceded ancestral lands of the Coast Salish peoples. I've done a lot of things over the years. Uh, I was an elementary French teacher. I went back to school and got a master's degree and was a psychotherapist for a few years. Then I taught myself to paint and I was an abstract artist. But I've always been interested in building community. We've held music events workshops, and we grow food. Since the start of the COVID outbreak, the garden has been discovered by more and more people. Neighbors enjoy spending time outside and being with others in a safe space. So this tiny garden has produced incredible abundance in ways that we can never could have imagined at the beginning. <laughs> the garden draws people in because it feeds a longing we all have to belong, to care for place, to share our gifts and receive life's abundance. Ultimately, we need to ask ourselves what real wealth creation is about. There's a quote I really love that says, when you have more than you need, don't build a higher fence, build a longer table. In times of uncertainty, resilience comes from the relationships we build with our neighbors. The Co-Food Collaborative Garden grows those relationships especially well. When we have a shared space to learn and work together, we all grow stronger. <laughs>